So I ask say to you, tea or coffee? Do you prefer? So just a basic uh, question. Tea or coffee? Tea or coffee? Coffee, coffee. Coffee. So I'll do coffee. Beach or ski? Beach? Uh, spiaggia or, or fiare? Both. Both. Okay. Ferrari or Lamborghini? Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> and... I have a collection of Lamborghini. <laughs> Sparkling or still wine? Sparkling for Prosecco, still for the red wine. Yeah, so for the still red wine, for the sparkling uh, Prosecco. Okay. It's a producer yeah. answer. Okay. <laughs> so Prosecco and for still. Sparkling. And for the still wine, is red. Wine which is red. Okay. In the UK, people think Prosecco is cheap. Lots of consumers think that. Um, I'm asking him what's his thoughts on that, that Prosecco is cheap. What is? Prosecco is cheap, yes. is a cheap drink. Yes. So what, what is his thoughts on that? Maybe you want to contradict that and say no, that's uh, not the case. Sì. No, because the idea UK è che il prosecco sia un vino cheap. So should consumers Quindi stop thinking it's cheap? Dovrebbero forse smettere di pensare che sia cheap. Quindi la sua posizione rispetto a questo penso, per contraddire questa posizione. Penso che in questi 3-4 anni si sia sempre più riposizionato anche come prezzo e come tutto. E poi come qualsiasi merceologia di sparchi o di vini c'è sempre un'ampia forbice. Anche champagne c'è da 10 sterline e da 100 sterline. Prosecco c'è entry level e c'è prosecco come veniamo noi, i prezzi, quindi non può essere mai standardizzato un prezzo, c'è sempre varie fasce di prezzo, anche nel mio champagne se vogliamo fare un po' lavoro. Maintaining that in the past 4-5 years there has been a repositioning of prosecco as far as price is concerned, the thing is that there's a whole range of prices in the Prosecco category. There's the entry level and up, as you go up with the appellations, so there's a, a quite a large range, the same as with the champagne. You can find 10 pounds champagne yes. up to 100 pounds champagne. E sarà sempre così. Ti lo dico che sarà così, sempre. No. Più che, ecco, per, per completare la risposta, più che chip è lo che consideriamo un prodotto quotidiano, mm. un prodotto che si può bere tutti i giorni. Champagne è più da ricorrenza, più meno del quotidiano, yeah, the, anche per il prezzo accessibile yeah. che ha, per tante famiglie, è un prodotto più democratico, really diciamo noi, più, più che popolare democratico. Objective. It's cheaper than champagne, of course, if this is the, the, the issue. More, But, more affordable. Yeah, more, more affordable, mm. more reasonable. The thing is that maybe for the fact that it started to boom on the market with a reasonable and correct price tag, it has become more used, more easily to be consumed, and it has acquired the idea of being a daily wine, which can be confusing with cheap, but it's not the thing that cheap, it's that is more affordable, and of course it's pleasant, lovely, crispy, everybody loves Prosecco in these days, and it has become so popular that it's unfortunately a little easy to make this assumption, not yeah. a confusion but make this assumption that it can be cheap it's affordable which yeah, is not cheap sì, anche perché se vogliamo spiegare meglio cioè non potrà mai avere un prezzo che si avvicina allo champagne prosecco perché ha un costo diverso honest, scusa, è yeah. un metodo diverso uno sì. ha un metodo diciamo che noi le opere che dura 3-5 anni prosecco è un prodotto che si vendemmia si produce si vende cioè, le uve costano meno la champagne sì, sì. per questo sì. motivo proprio di eh, 
costi di produzione to be honest the price is correct we can't expect Prosecco to have the same price as Champagne because of the different grape and the especially of the different production Method. methods. We produce classic methods, so we really know the difference between the two production methods. It takes time to produce classic methods. You have to store and keep the bottles for three up to five, sometimes seven years, which means cost. That's why champagne has a higher price, but this is fairly reasonable. It's a Prosecco, and Prosecco was born to be a Prosecco, to be a fresh, young, crispy, easy to drink wine. This is the soul and the real identity of Prosecco. I don't think he wants to be something else, you know? Yeah. Prosecco è nato per essere un vino no, giovane, questo. fresco, questa è la sua anima e non penso che il Prosecco eh, voglia essere qualcosa altro. La vendemmia viene yeah. chiaramente prodotto sure. e consumato. Yes, and it's young, meaning that it's vendemia. really young. You yeah. harvest in September it's and same. from Produce February, consumer. Yeah, from yeah. February it's ready to, to drink, while in February you just blend the base wine to get the classic method. So, in five, six months, you have Prosecco ready to drink and to be sold. With Champagne, at the same time you start selling Prosecco, you just put your bottles in the underground cellars for minimum three years. So that's a uh, no. that difference. Okay. Um, what makes good Prosecco? What makes for a good Prosecco? Cosa rende un prosecco buono? Cosa fa buono il prosecco? <laughs> Fare il prosecco buono intanto bisogna partire dalla vigna. Da due che siano, e anche qui il territorio del prosecco, come sappiamo sono 30 e oltre 1000 ettari, comprende due regioni, situazioni climatiche diverse, terreni diversi. Il nostro, dal DOC al DOCG, mm -hmm è quasi tutto prodotto, tutto prodotto nell'area storica che è la provincia di Treviso e che è dove abbiamo il prodotto sicuramente migliore e dove si estende la, le due DOCG che sono quelle più pregiate, la Valdubiadene e l'Asolo e tutto il resto della DOC. Quindi sicuramente questi terreni, questa area qua è l'area più vocata e più pregiata del mondo prosecco. Dopo si produce anche a Venezia verso il mare e tutto il resto, quindi questo sicuramente fa una differenza, tanto è vero che noi dominiamo Treviso, vero? E dopo c'è la parte culinaria che si fa. Sì, sì. No, no, devi tradurre? Sì, certo. As usual, you have to start from the vineyard, from the terroir, and we are located in the heart of Prosecco. I think you, you know qu quite a lot about Prosecco, but there's the traditional and historical area of Conegliano Valdobbiadene Hills, and now we have the gentle hills of Asolo, which is also a DOCG, and technically we are in this Asolo DOCG area here today. Last night at dinner you were in the Valdobbiadene DOCG, and that is where the story of Prosecco started, where vineyards of Prosecco have been grown for centuries, where people have produced Prosecco for centuries. So there's an old tradition and people are accustomed to living together with vineyards, we're working in the vineyards, we're making Prosecco. It's not making a wine, it's part of the people's life. It's not just a wine. In this historical area, it's not perceived as a wine. It's almost part of your life, of your habits, of your tradition, of your family. It's really a family uh, issue in the historical area. And then there's the wider area of the DOC appellation with vineyards mainly on flat area. But 
also in this area, there's a special area, the Treviso province, where most of the expertise and most of the vineyards up to seven, eight years ago were concentrated, where all people have also always grown Prosecco vineyards and produced Prosecco. And the uh, producers of this area have a right to put on the bottle, on the label, Prosecco DOC Treviso, mm. to underline and highlight the fact of this tradition and longer expertise know -how. and know-how. And there's another point uh, he hasn't told you, but he, he, would, he would have, uh, but just in case. Yeah. There's a difference because everybody loves Prosecco, everybody knows Prosecco, and for many people it is a business opportunity. To the people and producers in the area, it's not just a business opportunity because producers of this area used to produce Prosecco before the great boom are producing it now, and I'm sure we will produce it in, in the future. With the soul. Yes, with the soul. It, it's different because it's a, a terroir issue. You are here, you have your vineyards, you have a control from the vineyard to the bottle, either with your own owned vineyards or with the uh, contractor's ones. So there's a... Um, it's like following a child in his development, so from the vineyards to the bottle, not just uh, a successful bubbling, because everybody wants it. Yeah, okay. E così, gli ho detto anche della differenza tra essere produttori di un territorio e essere produttori di una opportunità di business, che non siamo noi. Imbottigliatore. Esatto, sì. Sì. Bottling, we are not bottling, we are bottling company, we are producer. Yeah. And this is yeah. what, what makes the difference maybe between a, a Prosecco and a good, very good Prosecco. You too. See? Biggest issue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, next question. <laughs> next question. Well, one last question. Um, I would say that he could easily retire and live somewhere no. quietly. So what keeps him working and pushing uh, for Villa Sandy? Uh, in, a, in a respectful way, he could retire young. Sì, 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 sì. Ha detto, ma lui, con tutto il rispetto perché è giovane, ma lui potrebbe anche come ritirarsi e vivere pacificamente da qualche parte, cosa la spinge Driving, uh, pushing uh, Villa Sandy avanti, avanti. <coughs> Questo è un lavoro che eh, appassiona. appassiona, ho due figli che viva vive a Londra e ha iniziato a collaborare, sembra che stia prendendo passione anche di questo lavoro, Leonardo invece è ancora in università, però insomma, anche lui sembra che eh, sia a si è interessato a continuare questo lavoro, quindi i figli sicuramente sono una continuità, come tutte le famiglie del vino, se c'è continuità c'è anche la voglia di continuare a investire come stiamo facendo, perché eh, sul vino ci vuole la famiglia, la famiglia che fa la differenza, sul vino nelle multinazionali non ha mai fatto un grande successo, ci vuole la faccia del produttore che si che garantisca tutto quello che è la qualità e tutto quello che è la produzione di questo mondo vivo. Quindi mi spinge e mi sento sempre con grande voglia ogni giorno che inizio la giornata perché vedo che l'azienda sta incrementando di anno in anno proprio perché stiamo investendo non solo nelle vigneti, non solo nelle attrezzature ma anche nelle risorse umane e siamo una squadra che sta funzionando. Bene, in sintesi. Eh? In molto in sintesi. Basically it is of course passion what makes you move. But the 
a, a great reason is also family. Um, he's got two children and uh, Diva is currently living in London and she has started to be part of the company <coughs> as a brand ambassador and uh, she seems to be taking it very seriously and enjoying that as well and he's also got a son who is just 20 but he will start someday and the real important word is family, especially with wine company, because um, family, a family is, has normally been located in an area for generations, for centuries, and family is the outcome of tradition, of history, of the values, and when a winery is family owned, all these values are transferred to the way you work, to the wines you produce. So your wines being the result of uh, knots and family bonds are also taking the same values. So territory, family, passion, commitment, the wines. Territory. Yeah, territory. Yeah. yeah he said family is the guarantee for the yes. quality you have yes. in the bottle. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So because, family. Yes. Yeah. Because people drinking your wine knows the face of the people producing that, so that's a, uh, not a challenge, yeah. how you say, a guarantee. And also she added, because it was a long speech, uh, about the daily resource of money. Oh yes, and what makes him every day coming here full of energy yeah. is the fact that the company is investing. investing, growing not only in new vineyards, in new um, technologies, but also in people. Mm, yeah. yeah. People working here. Yeah. As you say, it's yeah, but the, yeah, fam yeah. the family-owned wine company makes a difference yeah. in every, uh, in everything. So, from every any perspective you look a winery if it is family owned it's different yeah. that's nice. it's different okay, yeah. that's nice yeah.